Should you play Enlisted? I've been playing this one for a few hours and I'm blown away. So basically you can try it out because the open beta what I'm playing right now is actually free. So you can try it out yourself. And it's a multiplayer shooter where you actually also control AI control squads. And aside from that, you can actually upgrade your squad, you can unlock new weapons. This just plays different than so many other shooters out there. Of course, the immediate comparison will be to Battlefield, but I can, I'm can i a Battlefield veteran since Battlefield 2, and I can tell you from my own experience, this tops Battlefield experience by far. I actually enjoyed a lot Battlefield 3, but when came Battlefield 4, I stopped in the middle, I didn't like it that much. Uh, same goes to Battlefield 5, Battlefield 1, I like it. But this one, this is a completely different experience. So why they actually were able to do it right? What actually made to make the battlefield so immersive and fun to play compared to other shooters? Well, as you can see here, the graphics are absolutely amazing. And not just the graphics, the game is very well optimized. You can play it even in not so, so, you know, computer. I'm playing on a 1660 Ti and it just runs so smooth. Not the highest settings, but even on medium settings, around medium settings, it just looks gorgeous. Now speaking of visuals, the game is absolutely insane. The level design, the details, I mean, I was blown away. It feels so atmospheric and cinematic that I think this is one of the great things that going so well for this game. And when you jump into the fight, you really feel it from the first second. Now just look at this, look how beautiful the game looks with the lighting, it's just absolutely amazing. The visual effects, the sound effects in the background, look at this, it's just crazy. Now keep in mind, you can easily die here, so they made sure, the developer, that there are plenty of ways to, to get cover. Uh, for example, there was one sniper that actually was there in the, the sniper's nest, and actually shooting at me, so I had to take him down. Uh, and you, of course, when you are locked to stuff, you're gonna have tanks, you're gonna have airplanes, uh, and you're gonna feel very vulnerable, because you can die easily with one, two shots. And this actually changed things because it uh, kind of uh, forced you to make sure you get cover and crawl and use the environment carefully to make sure that you don't get hit. Here you can actually see one of the allies actually uh, put a grenade there to explode the tank. It was pretty satisfying to watch. Now in a way the game feels like kind of an RPG. When you look into the menus you can find out that there are many ways to level up your squad. Uh, you know, unlock different weapons, skills, you get experience points. Uh, there are some even perks, you know, that, you know, 10% damage to this and that. I mean, this is just crazy. Feel like part of an RPG when it, is, when it comes to upgrading your squad uh, and your gear. Now, in terms of shooting with the weapons, it feels amazing. Everything with the, with the angle itself, uh, the way we actually hold it, you know, we still get a nice view. Uh, the different weapons, there are plenty of weapons in this game, although I played only with a few because I haven't unlocked yet uh, many of them. But still, even the core or the basic weapons, you're gonna feel that they're very good and very satisfying to play with. Here I'm playing actually with the sniper rifle. So again, well optimized, amazing level design, gunplay is absolutely insane. You feel the intensity of the battle, look cinematic, visual effects, uh, sound effects. You really feel like you are in a war. There's so many great, and of course, all the progression stuff, there are so many great things going uh, for this game and the fact that you can actually play it uh, now free, open beta, I mean, why wouldn't you? If you like first person shooter games, you have to try it out. This again here, multi-kill. But some of the enemies, by the way, you see are actually squad. We can actually detect you very, very fast. So probably they are programmed like that because I think it was like another uh, uh, real player probably wouldn't record, uh, know that I'm actually there so fast. Anyway, feels great. Look at this. This is insane. So if you didn't like Battlefield 5 and Battlefield 4 that much and you're still an FPS fan looking forward to a very intense, cinematic, exciting first person shooter experience, especially World War II one, this is the one to get. I really can emphasize again how good this game is. I was blown away, otherwise I wouldn't put a video, I'd probably play it you know, and have some fun share with you, but I wouldn't be that excited about it. And I'm a huge FPS fan. but. It had been a while since I actually played uh, first person shooter game that got me so excited, really. And uh, again, from a Battlefield fan perspective, uh, this is the game that I always wanted. I just didn't know that this will be the one. And I'm actually just waiting for Battlefield 6 to arrive, you know, until I can get maybe they're going to nail it correctly this time. But I don't need to wait anymore. We have enlisted right here, right now. Now, I think you're going to hear more about this game right now. I think many will play it. And again, after trying this one, I'm sure many will play it. I'm sure about it. 
I have no doubt because they nailed this game almost perfectly. There's something about the UI that feels kind of a bit, I don't know, not that good. I mean, way too polished this one. But overall, in terms of gameplay, insane. Here's the mountable, by the way, but actually shooting with this. Everything feels, when it comes to gunplay, everything just feels perfect. But keep in mind, you can die very easily in this game, right? So again, make sure you take cover, you crawl through the bushes, flank enemies, uh, and maybe, of course, use airplanes and stuff. I haven't used it still. There are so many things I haven't used, so many guns that I need to unlock. But this is the fun of the progression. Not actually like Battlefield, when you get everything you know, from the start, you actually unlock different guns. And this leaves more room for kind of excitement, what's going to be next, what items they're going to add, gear to the game, right? This is kind of exciting! Right? As I told you, it feels kind of RPG in a way. So, this is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this one. Um, yeah, my recommendation, go and try it out. A must, must play. If you haven't played this one, you won't know it. And trust me, I played several uh, World War 1 and World War 2 shooters out there. Nothing came close to the gameplay of this one. The looks, everything. And it's well optimized. So, if you kind of worry it doesn't won't work well on your graphic cards, which I actually was worried. But it actually worked so well. And as you know, there's so many games that are not optimized nowadays. So having one that looks that great and is also so op well optimized, give it a try. Trust me. Wow. That's wow. So this is it for this video. Again, you see my recommendation. A must try. And I see you on the next one. Thanks for watching, everyone. Cheers. Bye-bye.